Hey guys, so have you ever wondered about the world around you and all the information that exists in various forms that you have access to? Imagine you could tap into that information and store it somewhere. You would be one of the most powerful people alive. Here, have a look at this picture here of all these people walking on the street. Here, look, there's Mark Zimmerman. He's 32 years old and he's an accountant. Ah, there's Kathy Lee. She's 24. She's a hairdresser. Jacob Zoltan, 21 years old, still a student. There's Marcus Halter. He's 35 and he is a construction worker. And look, driving in the taxi there is Mr. M. Haynes. He's 45 years old. He's 45 years old. You are surrounded by information. Everywhere you go, there is information. How we access and process and store that information is one of the key things. And data is what makes it possible. Data, if you think about it like this, with all these little blocks everywhere, every little block is a little bit of data. You put it all together, you start to make sense of it, and it becomes information. Data on its own is pretty useless, okay? So it's names and numbers, it's raw facts, it's uh, letters and alphanumeric characters. It doesn't mean anything. But when we take that and we put it into a context of some kind, it becomes information. It becomes meaningful, it becomes useful because we have context. For example, we could ask a whole lot of questions like how many students in the school are there? How many grade 11s? Who uses iPhones? Who uses iPhones? How many gamers? How many have green eyes? Who can play the banjo? That's a banjo. By asking these questions and gathering the answers, we're gathering data. The data allows us to give information, gives us context. So with this collection and the storage of data, it needs to go somewhere. And that is a database. A database is basically what stores data. It's a base of data. That's pretty much what it is. Okay. So what does a database help us do? It helps us to organize information it helps us to access information and it helps us to present that information and that's what databases are for this is microsoft access and this program is what we're going to be using to learn about databases i'm going to just take you through a couple of the basics that you need to know right off the bat and we already know what this is the ribbon we're quite comfortable with that we have a home tab a create tab external data if we're getting data from other sources database tools and of course help let me show you what we have over here on the left hand side on this side here we have the access objects okay it's called objects but let me tell you what they actually are so tables queries forms and reports these are the various things that we'll be working with in microsoft access now tables when we create a database all the information that we are going to put into this database is going to be stored in a table or a multiple number of tables. Let me show you what it looks like. This is a book club database. This is a book club database. And you can see that we have a table. It looks very similar to a Microsoft Excel workbook. I mean, you can see that or a worksheet. And we've got rows and we have columns. At the top of each column, we have a field name number surname name grade okay that's because a field holds a single piece of information so one field holds one piece of information so for example the field surname will hold data such as the surname of a person the field name will hold their name the field grade will hold their grade and so on and so forth and you can see here we have 40 people in this book club. How do I know that right from just staring at this? It's very easy. If I just go down to the bottom, you can actually see it says one of 40. Pretty cool. So this is our table. Everything in a database is stored in tables. Remember that. And we can have more than one table. So tables is your first thing. The next thing that we have is a query. Now, when you query something, you are asking a question. So queries are used to ask the database a question. When you're searching for something specifically, for example, here is a query called grade 8 only. And this query is showing us 
all the book club members their surname and name who are in grade 8 only and if I scroll you can actually see it's only the grade 8s yes there are many many other people in the book club but I only wanted to see the grade 8s and a query lets me do that so that's what a query is for I'm going to close that there a form a form is used when you want to enter data into the table. And a form is just a nice, easy to use, easy to look at, visual way, safer way of entering data into a database. Here you can see I have a form, it's called enter data. And I can then click in any one of these text boxes here. And I can then type in the information that goes into the table. Whatever I type in here gets stored in the table. The table is where everything is stored. Remember that. Okay. Then we have the reports. Now, a report is simply a printable version of a query, for lack of a better way of explaining. Okay. It's something that you would normally want to print out, okay, or see on the screen in a visually appealing way. That's what a report is. So when we create a report, it's just that we don't see things everywhere that we've got to click on and type in and things. It's actually just a finalized version of a query that we can then print out or have on our screen. As you can see here, we have a report called members of the book club. We have grade, surname and name. And I can just scroll down and it's been sorted according to grade. And I can go down and there is my report. I can print this out at any time if I want to. And I have a lovely report of my book club. Close that there. So that is Microsoft Access. Objects on the left hand side. Tables, queries, forms and reports. Everything gets stored in a table. Your table consists of field names. There they are there. And each field can hold one piece of data. A query queries the database and you can ask it for specific information. A form allows you to enter data into the database and a report is a visual representation of a query or a printable version of a query.